Oh, boys and girls, this is going to be an exciting summer. Now we are European champions, asterisk. Champions of a European competition. We've got a huge amount of money to spend. We are going to be in the Europa League next year, having won the Conference League. And we've got a budget of nearly £60 million to make sure we go and win it. The grand plan now, we win the Conference League to get into the Europa League. We're going to win the Europa League to get into the Champions League. And then we're going to win the Champions League without ever finishing in the top four of the Premier League. That's the plan at the moment. We might accidentally finish in the top four as well, though, because, you know, we're going to sign a lot of good players today. And if you missed the last stream, by the way, you missed us winning the Conference League. Um, somewhere in here, we've got the confirmation that we won it. Um, there's confirmation that I am a legend, which I love seeing that. Um, there you go. There's your confirmation. We did win the Europa Conference League. It's the first trophy we've won for a long time. Um, so we haven't won a trophy for five years. The last trophy we won was Skybet League One five years ago. But there we have it. The UEFA Europa Conference League. We will forever be European champions. But we'll be dining out on that forever like Forrest do. It's going to be brilliant. Um, but yeah, because of that, we've got a crazy budget, 58 million pounds, which I think is more than we spent this season. Not quite. Okay. We've got a lot to spend anyway. Right. Let's, um, let's come up with a plan. I don't really know what my plan is for the summer. I think we just continue to try and bring in wonder kids. It worked brilliantly last summer. There's no obvious weakness in the team. I don't think even Fleming who we criticised a little bit at points last season, he was man of the match in the Conference League final, made a save in the 120th minute to keep us in it, and then saved two penalties, I think, in the shootout. So he has done enough to justify being our goalkeeper for another season. I'd quite like to bring Devin Creel in permanently, but I don't want to pay the £32 million optional future fee for him if we can, if we can help it. I want to be much nearer the, the lower end of that price range. Or at the very least, get him on instalments. I don't want to pay thirty-two million in in one go. So I guess we'll try and get him first. Um, yeah, don't want to do thirty-two minutes. So let's say, let's say if we give them eight up front, and then well, I don't mind paying thirty-two million. I just don't want to do it all in one go. Let's try that. There you go. See, still thirty-two million. Devin Creel has major reservations about negotiating terms. He's been here for the last two years and has just won a European tournament. Was, Hold on, what's going on? I've pressed suggest terms twice and he keeps saying no. You're not close enough to my client's demands. I'm telling him he's going to be a star player. He's literally not demanding anything else. What can I promise you, Devin? What would you like? Let's try that. Brilliant. Well, fantastic. We're not getting Devin Creel. That was easy. We've now got a plan for the summer. Centre back, please. Ridiculous. Should we still be signing 18 yards? Let's check the homegrown status screen. How do we do that? There is a way. I don't know what it is. Range, no. Ah, there we go. So, we already have Godwin homegrown at club, which we knew about. In two years, we get Rory Bailey, Marius Koenig, Christopher Vold. And showy forward all become homegrown at club. So that's in two years' time. So we could do with more than five. So we probably do need to carry on focusing in on 18 year olds. Really, we want to get to the point where we've got about half the squad are either already homegrown at club or due to become homegrown at club. Because there's no guarantee that these players will develop. I know four is enough for a Champions League squad, but we'll be getting rid of Godwin as soon as we can because he's not good enough anymore. And if one or two of these don't end up developing into first team regulars, we're still in the same pickle we were in before. So I think we continue to focus in on youth. Right, Liverpool want this guy. Mile Saka. He's already got five caps for Croatia. Holy smokes, look how much he's worth, though. Probably not going to buy him, are we? Or are we? Are we? Oh, he's, it's his birthday tomorrow. No, we're not. Because we're not going to get him through. We're not going to get him through in time. If his birthday was next month, we'd bring him in. But we're not going to bring him in in 24 hours. So he's not going to become homegrown at club, and he'll take all of our budget. Is he our Devon Creel update? 
upgrade. I mean, look at his mentals compared to Devin Creel already. Oh, he's already so much better than Devin Creel. <laughs> oh, my word. Do we want to spend all of our budget on him? Especially when he thinks he's a fullback. Obviously, I want to play him at centre back. As I've already got a fullback, and he'll be replacing Devin Creel at centre back. Wow. Declined to make an immediate decision. Let's just leave that. They just want him to turn 19, so we don't want him anymore. Right. Come on, Melee. He wants to play at left back. I don't want to play you at left back, Melee. I might end up playing you at left back. I feel like you should be. Oh, he's insisting. See, that makes it much less appealing. We're bringing him in for 70 million, but might have to sell him after a year for 84. There you go. We've pushed it up to 101. Well, it looks like Mele is coming in. Liam Davis. Yeah, you just did your check on a player, didn't you? Liam Davis. Let's have a little look at you. You are at Napoli. 20 caps for Portugal already as well. At 22 years old. That's not too shabby. You're quite good, Liam. Look at you, Mr. Fancy. Look at you. I'll give you a little scout. Have a little look at you. I mean, you're five feet tall, so there's zero chance of me signing you. That is probably the shortest player I've ever seen in Football Manager. He is five feet tall. And... I mean, pretty chunky for five feet. Nearly 11 stone at five feet tall. Someone give me the, the BMI calculator. I think Liam Davies is a little fat boy. Let's have a look, shall we? He's male. Um, I mean, I'm not going to even guess. I'm just going to... I'll put other. I mean, he's European, isn't he? He's Portuguese. Is that an option? I mean, what? He really is other. That's a weirdly limiting list, NHS. Um, I would say he's quite active. Little fat boy Liam. <laughs> Aim to lose eight pounds, Liam. Real life Liam is six foot three and only weighs a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, in game Liam needs to uh, needs to go on a little bit of a growth spurt. So he is the same BMI as Akin Fenwer. 29.8. So Liam Davis is five foot one and built like Akin Fenwa. Right, Veraccio, we're getting some nice big offers for. So we'll accept 15.75 gazillion. We don't want it with those bits, though. There we go. And Cooper. Oh, 22 gazillion pounds. Oh, oh. Oh, give me 22 up front. So there you go. This guy's wanted by Inter, which means he's probably worth look. Oh, look at his fastness. We, don't, we really don't need another striker. He's already got two caps for Bulgari. We'll have a bit of this, thank you, with that kind of pace. Uh, fringe player. Ugh. Mind you, 18 being a fringe player is probably quite good, actually. Oh, no, I don't want to know about his agent. What's his actual name? Is he a wonder kid? Oh, uh, no. You just need to be fast. Uh, reject loan back because we need him to become homegrown at club. No one wants Ed Webb. Get out of here, Webby. We now have a better offer for Cooper, but we want 22 million for him. Because that's what the other lot have offered. Boom. Hey, we're back in the Theodrome. There we have it. So it was six and a half thousand seats we got in the end. So now we can't fit any ticket pay ticket buying people on the day into the ground. We've got our season ticket holders and then we've got away fans and that's it. You want to buy a ticket on the door? Forget it. Can we expand some more? Let's ask. We should probably also ask to improve the other facilities as well. Because all the facilities need dragging up. Hugo! I don't know who you are, but I love you already. Look at those stars. Oh! Hugo! Hugo, you beautiful specimen! Oh, 
Hugo. Hugo, I mean, Hugo. Look at some of the... If those attributes are near the top of the range, and to be fair, the ranges aren't even that big. Oh, we might only have 18 technique rather than 20. Oh, his stamina might only be 18 rather than 20. His decisions might only be 19 rather than 20. My word, Hugo, you glorious boy. Why is it say, has our, our bid's been rejected? Well, ruined that a little bit, didn't it? Let's try again. Come on, Hugi. Hugi, Hugi. So he's 34 million release clause, is he? Active relegation release clause, 33 and a half thousand million, not thousand. We're just going to have to go in and pay the release clause. Sorry, Devin. We've got higher priorities than Devin Creel right now. Holy smokes, we're not getting Hugo. <laughs> oh, 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 I need to lie down. Hugo, you silly boy. <laughs> um, well, let's see, shall we? Hmm. <laughs> Don't think we're signing this chap. I mean, you never know. He might buy into the to the club ethos. We have to try. No. Well, that was an exciting minute or two right there where we thought we might get Hugo. Right, the board won't improve our training facilities. How, why? Are good enough for the level of club we are? What? They're only good. We want to be in the Champions League. We should be doing them to the level of club we want to be. It will attract better players. Our facilities are just fine. They're not. After all I've done for this club, we appreciate all you've done. The fans are behind me. Hey! My devotion to the cause is impressive. You wait until our next two meetings, Lars. If you think if that impressed you, you're about to get very impressed because we're going again for the youth facilities. Oh, okay. You just accepted that one. All right. I was up for a bit of a fight there, Lars. Well, at least they're both getting upgraded. I did ask about the stadium as well. Were we just ignoring that? Oh! 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 Okay. It's going to be done by... It's not even going to start until the end of next season. It's going to be done by November of that year. Does that mean we actually don't have, don't have to move out while it's happening as well? That's nice. Should have just built one that was fit for purpose to begin with. But it's not happening for a year which is a little bit of a shame. And because it starts on the 27th of May, I imagine we'll be overdrawn on that date. So it probably will fall through because we won't have £9 million. Pounds. Leicester want Tom Wooster. Why is he transferred? Who transferred us to Tom Wooster? We haven't got another goalkeeper. We can't let Tommy Wooster go. I mean, they are going to pay all of his salary, though, so to be fair... We'll just spend the summer finding one. That seems okay. Right, Josh Cooper's gone, which is fine. We made a lovely profit on him. So we had him on loan in non-league, League 2, League 1. Went back to Crew. We sold him to Stoke. We bought him off Stoke a year later for seven and a half million. Had him as backup right back for two years, sold him on for 22 million. That'll do very nicely. And Veraccia is leaving as well for 15 million, which is also a very nice profit on him. Which means with those two leaving, we probably are in a position now just to switch that fee for Devon Creel to the flat 32 million and just buy him. We need him. He is our nailed-on starting centre-back, has been for years. Let's just buy him. He still has reservations. Well, now I'm going to offer you a big pay rise. See if that helps you out. That was still a long way away. What the hell else do you want, Devon? I don't know what you want from me. Stepping stone as well. play you in your preferred role 
will qualify for the Champions League. I don't know. When's that? Is that this year or next year? How soon is that? Ah, there we go. There we go. I mean, that might be ambitious. Future Kev can worry about that problem. Holy smokes, how much money does he want? We just have to qualify for the Champions League this year then. I don't see that that's a problem. Certainly not with Devin Creel in the team. Owen Hopkinson. He's very similar to Tother Guy, but on Tother side. So he's a big, tall fullback. <laughs> he is definitely a centre back. Or is he? Hmm. Do we spend 32 million on Devon Creel? Or 26 million on Owen Hopkinson? Or do we bring them both in? Looks like this is the summer we're getting our Champions League defence. My director of football knows me quite well at this point and knows how to structure a deal. He's transfer listed by request. Did Villa get relegated? Aha, ha, Villa got relegated. Okay. Get them both in. Treat yourself. I like it. Villa want to discuss terms. So can we take the upfront fee down then if you're adding other things in? Yeah, I thought we might. Thought we might, Aston Villa. Owen Hopkinson is going to come and play for us, though. I mean, if we get this guy and Creel having already got Saka, I can see the articles in The Athletic now telling the world how we're switching to a back three because we've just built a perfect back three. Because he's perfect for the right-hand side of a back three. Saka's perfect for the left-hand side of a back three. And Creel's a big lump who can stand in the middle. Poor old Dolman's not going to get a look in. We're not switching to a back three. But goodness me, could we? Could we? Right, Devin Creel is coming in permanently. We're loyal to our boys that we have in on loan. Because we could just drop the DM back, push the wing backs forward and keep everything else as it is. I don't really know how you set up a back three. Never really done it. But we could have Devin Creel in the middle. And then you put Saka there, new boy there. And then you've got... Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I just, I want to... Where is he? So Rodriguez goes there. Although it is a bit harsh on Weaver, because we have still got Connor Weaver, who is quite capable of doing it as well. Actually, for the time being, we keep Connor Weaver in that role. And then at left back, Saka was promised left back. We don't need to worry about that. He'll be happy if we win the Premier League. And then new guy in there. I mean, it works. As backup, we've got the new guy. We've got Rory Bailey. We've got Sparks. We've got Godwin. How does wide centre back work? Do I will he actually push forward if he's on a defend instruction? With a defend duty, wide centre-back is more like a traditional centre-back in a back five. They'll provide support in wide areas at times, but from deep. Less likely to overlap or underlap, more likely to provide. So with support, they're willing to make overlapping and underlapping runs to create 2v1. With an attack, they make regular runs and also have a higher... So we'd want him at least on support, wouldn't we? Oh my God, he's, an inver he's a right-footed inverted wing-back. It doesn't get any more perfect. Oh! Oh! We're doing tactics, boys and girls. So we have him cutting in here and him coming around him. Oh! Oh, I feel a little bit unnecessary. Oh! Oh! oh, oh. oh. Do you like the idea of an underlap? Focus play through the middle, yep. See, I don't really like playing low tempo. We might have to push the tempo on a little bit. Underlaps on the left, overlaps on the right. That makes sense. That's where we've got Weaver coming around that side. But Vold coming in on that side. Who have we made an offer for here? Lucas Canazares. Interesting. 35. 
He did play 35 games in the Premier League last year, though. So I guess... I guess Sam knows what he's doing. Continue about your business, Sam. Fleming got signing of the season. I think that's two years in a row. Our goalkeeper has got signing of the season in the Premier League. And then we've spent all summer trying to replace them. I want to see the inverted wing back wide centre back combination. But when the when the diamond stops working this season, we'll do it. In the meantime, if we've got a massive offer for Sparks and we've now got all of the centre backs, now's maybe the time to let him go. He's the eighth choice centre back. And we've got three other players who can play left back as well, which I think we probably let Sparks go here. Um, we'll try and push him up as high as possible, of course. See how far we can push. There we go. That seems to work for me. Wants to leave the club and is wanted by Man United, Bayern Munich, Leipzig. Ooh. Suggest we're probably not going to get him. Right, there you go. We've got Lucas Canazares in to be backup goalkeeper. And hopefully we're signing that guy from France as well. And then we've got three decent goalkeepers and Wooster still officially on the books. Okay, we'll have a look at Everton in a second. Kieran Brewerton has gone to Deportivo, not a moment too soon. He's just seen all the other defenders that have arrived this summer, realised he was never going to get an opportunity. We're going to have to offer him, well, Chelsea and Man United him, we're going to have to offer him double what he wants. We're going to pay way over the odds compared to what we were going to be paying for him before and completely bribe his agent and give him an extra million as a signing on fee and hope he comes. Just watch him be rubbish now after all this. I've been absolutely baited into it. He's not even five-star potential, but look at his speed. He'll break the match engine. They want a loan back. I want him to become homegrown so they're not getting a loan back. What the hell? I just... I just... I just agreed that... Okay, that's fine. I was about to... I've literally just offered Sam a new contract. He was about to get sacked the day he signed it. I was going to chase the contract out of his hands if he'd have balls that up again. I'm blaming him for the first time as well. Hello there, Bruno. Bruno the Mexican. What the... How are you available on a free? Because Everton just don't... Everton apparently don't need four-star midfielders anymore who are 24 years old. Everton have absolutely lost their minds. There is some money being spent here. Wowzers. Tycoon, do you think? There it is. Two years ago, Tycoon takeover. 60,000 capacity stadium, Europa League winners. Wow. Well, how, how, how? Bruno, you're having a contract, son. Come here. Um, Bruno, what the hell? No. Just no to all of this. I'm not even going to read what the individual things are. I'm in charge around here, you madman. Goodness me. Uh, yeah, that works fine. Everton's tycoon was Chris Kamara. You what? <laughs> oh, oh, that's a tweet. <gasps> We're getting him. Watch him be absolute trash. We've been baited into this by Man United, Everton and Chelsea. We've thrown dub and PSG wanted him as well. Oh, we might be about to get our Svenda Silva. Oh, here he comes. Come on then, Plamen. Let's... For a second there, I thought I couldn't confirm him, but there he is. I mean, he's not good enough yet, is he? But he will be. That's all that matters. Oh, this was a guy we were going to scout before. Did we get a more up-to-date scout report? 52% scouted. The only player in midfield we've got who's better than him is Larios, who was probably our best player last year. So this guy definitely improves us. Let's just blow the rest of the budget on him and see what happens. So it's off a uh, 15 up front. And then a little bit of never, never. Um, to get him up there somewhere. Boom. Goalkeeper is probably not the worst shout, but you know what? 
Who needs a goalkeeper? He's probably cheap. 106 caps for South Africa. Why has nobody in Europe ever signed him? Oh, God, someone has. And it didn't go well. <laughs> oh, my word. So he went to Posh for a year. Got loaned out for 1.1 million. Back to South Africa. They were absolutely swindled. Oh, Stellenbosch. Because the year after, he went back to Sundowns for almost nothing. Posh have made a killing there. I mean, he is better than Tom Wooster, apparently. That shows how out of date this scout report is. I think we should probably re-scout re this guy. I mean, he's rough. He, I mean, he's cheap. How cheap is he? A couple of million. What's the worst that can happen? We have a iffy third choice keeper for a year. I don't think we can afford this guy. Or maybe we can. Maybe we can. You're not having that, though. That's stupid. You're not having that. That's stupid. Oh. There we go. Boom. And then we can get... He wants to be an important player. Well, maybe he is. Maybe he's brilliant. Maybe at 30 years old, he's just never been discovered. Let's throw money at him and see what happens. Yeah, Smith can definitely leave. We don't need him. And Gamer's coming in. Oh, there's an up-to-date scout report for him, actually. Let's check we are actually going to sign him. Uh, you know what? It does say 100% scouted. He is three and a half star current ability. So better than Fleming. If we do a comparison between him and Fleming. He's certainly a lot more eccentric. All right. Stupid Tottenham have signed Bruno. Dusan is going to Copenhagen. He should go and score an absolute ton of goals for them. Abs I mean, he should be playing in the Champions League, presumably. At the team of the city. How did they come up with a name like that? Yeah, he'll be playing in the Champions League. He should be going in there as their star man. And just scoring a gazillion goals in the Champions League. And then can come back either as a hero or they'll pay us loads of money for him. Well... I mean, he's three and a half stars. We've just picked up an absolute bargain. The more confusing question is why didn't that move to Peterborough 10 years ago work out? He must... I can only assume he didn't get a work permit. They must have signed him without a work permit. And then loaned him out and then sold him back again. Right. Hopefully, this deal is going through. What have I come back to? You really... I promise you, you don't want to know. Run away. We accidentally started talking about work the space and it's all gone downhill from here. Right. Here he comes. Is it Fe Fezik? Our new superstar midfield player. Leading Premier League player. We are signing world-class superstars this summer. This team is going to win the Europa League. Has he just come in as the best player in the entire squad? He's close. I mean, look, the players we've signed this summer, him, him, oh, him, 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 him. So that's four of the best six players at the club have all joined this summer. That is a decent sign that we have improved this team.